Well, if you're anything like us here at Team Radical, you probably spent the last couple months putting delicious turkey meat in the freezer. Today, I was going to go over recipes that utilizes the tenderloin and those breast. First, we're going to start out with some tenderloin barbecue poppers. Then we'll move on to a smoked turkey breast and bacon barbecue sandwich. The first thing you're going to want to do is to soak all the meat in a little brine overnight. It's pretty simple. I just do a half cup of sugar and a half cup of salt. And every once in a while, I may uh, throw a little bit of honey in there. First thing you're going to want to do is to cut up the tenderloin in chunks about that size. Then you're going to take preferably a thin cut piece of bacon or a half piece of bit bacon and you're going to wrap each chunk. You don't want to put too much bacon on here because the turkey meat will be done before all the bacon will cook. So like I said, preferably get a thin cut piece of bacon or at least a half cut piece of bacon and only go around it once. Now that you got your chunks wrapped in bacon, go ahead and pick your favorite GMG seasoning and season them up. You can pretty much cook these as hot as you want. The idea is to cook the bacon as fast as possible. But uh, there is a little secret about halfway through. You're going to start glazing uh, these little nuggets with your favorite barbecue sauce. Well, there we have it. Mmm, just killer. The next thing we're going to do is prep the breast. First thing we're going to do is pull it out of the brine and flip it with the outside down so the inside of the breast is facing up. We want to season that first. What we're going to do is season it all up and then fold it up kind of like a roast and tie it up. For this, I'm going to use the Roasted garlic chipotle seasoning from GMG. Again, I'm gonna cover it lightly on the inside. Then we're gonna flip it over and give it the, make sure some of that moisture is off there. And we're gonna flip it over and give it a more liberal seasoning on the outside. Now we're gonna flip it back over to the outside down. I'm gonna cut us a good, I don't know, three foot piece of string. I don't get too crazy here. I just simply tie a, a loop on one end. And then we're gonna start with the tip of the breast and roll it this way. Might have to get your string started first in your loop. Tight, wrap it once, make sure all this is nice and tight. The idea of this is so it cooks nice and evenly and the moisture stays within the breast. And once I get it nice in a nice loaf like that, I'm just going to season it a little more. This time with a little bit of sizzle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start this breast usually at around 250 and give it a good smoke for the first hour. And then we're gonna crank it up to about, about 400. The idea is to get it to 175 uh, internal degree temp before uh, you do pull it off. 